So today I'm going to show you the terminal server. So this is the server of Cisco that is a 2500 series. So you can see here eight console ports are there. If we are having multiple devices, it, it is not possible for us to every time connect to a system and do the configuration. So that is why we have this server. So what we are doing is we are connecting all the routers that is four routers and four switches to this console port. Okay. And after that, here you can see a, another console port. Okay. So through this console port, I'm connecting to a, a console cable on this port and I'm connecting to my PC and I'm doing the configurations so that I'll get the access of all the eight devices that are connected to this console ports. Okay. And here you can see this auxiliary port that is the backup of this uh, console port. Here you see this on off button that is the uh, server's on off button and here you see this power input cable. Here you can see something interesting that is this is called AUI Ethernet port. So through this port, I'm connecting to adapter and through this Ethernet port, you can connect it to a PC and do the configurations. Otherwise, you can connect it to Wi-Fi through this port and then from your PC, you'll be able to connect to the Wi-Fi wirelessly and through Telnet access, you'll be able to get the access of this remote server. So here you can see the serial port. So the serial port is used to get the band connectivity through CPP or frame delay. So this is my remote server. So next video, see you with other physical devices. Thank you.